Good morning, quilting world. It's Donna Robertson with On the Road with Fabric Cafe, day five. Today we leave to head to Madison, Wisconsin. We've been visiting with my mother and my sister in Conway, Arkansas. And when we get in the car, I start sewing again. While Robert is driving along as my wonderful chauffeur, I will be doing binding. But I thought I would introduce you to my blind stitch and how I do that. And this is one of my new quilts. It is called Pretty Please, and we're going to work right here on the binding. So the first thing you do is thread your needle with a single thread. You will anchor your thread in the seam allowance. Now I stitch a couple of times to anchor it in there well, and then I bring it out on the other side of the stitch line. If you go to my uh, blog, it's fabriccafe.blogspot.com. You will be able to find a video and um, blog about how to do the economy binding. I take about a fourth of an inch with my thread going through the edge of the binding. Then I go to the other side and bring the thread about a fourth of an inch. I go back to the binding again and I just continue that. It's very simple. It will make a nice, let me get that little thread out of the way, it makes a nice uh, binding that is, has a hidden stitch. This is the way it looks on the back side. Now the thimble that I'm using is my favorite thimble. It's the Clover. It has a silicone cuff. If your needle ever gets stuck in your fabric, you can grab it with your thumb and the side of this thimble and pull it right out of the tough, the tough spots. This is Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Please join me every day for 21 days as we do more sewing tips and spend the time with Robert and me as we set up our booth and meet new customers and see some of our old friends that we've made through the years. Thanks for watching.